Good morning, guys. Afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back. Today's video, I'm actually going to dive into Jay Slater. There's a lot, a lot of videos out there in the true crime community about Jay, about his disappearance um, from Tenerife, um, Spain, when he went there on a little vacay or what Europeans say holiday for some kind of music festival. There's a lot of rumors, you know, that, that are running around there that maybe he got involved in something a little bit shady, but without knowing anything, you know, it's with little information out there, the mind starts to go crazy. Now, so let's dig into this. Disclaimer notice, this video is for entertainment purposes only. All information in this video is not based on fact. It is all alleged, based upon my intuition, my opinion, what I believe my tarot cards are telling me. I encourage each and every one of you to do your own research, form your own opinions. After all, I'm just a blonde throwing cards. <clears throat> so the last person to see Jay alive was a man named Kamas or something like that. Um, he had a nickname. Now I even forget the nickname. Jack something. Um, that he claimed to go by. Other people say, no, that's not Jack. Um, others, you know, they... And supposedly he's the last person to, to be seen to see him alive, along with another man, plotter, some kind of rapper. That's alleged. Whether it was actually this rapper or not, but both of them have a shady history, shady history of drugs. Um, and Kamala spent had a nine year. Jail sentence for trafficking and distribution from London into Wales. Um, so, this guy is not a rookie when it comes to crime. And so, what was Jay getting mixed up with this guy for? I have my theories. Like, maybe they said oh you can help pay for your whole trip and all your travel expenses your lodging your food all you got to do is go and sell these items for us and makes me wonder if jay had some kind of problem himself did he use up the product and then thousands of dollars who knows but they went they left this party and they went to this cottage house that Kazam, Kazam, I'm probably mispronouncing that, Kwasam, however you pronounce it, um, had rented. And, and then Jay was never seen again. His cell phone was... I think his cell phone might have been found in a bush. It was tossed in a bush or something like that. He had no battery left. So, um, 
the story is that it was told was that Jay left that house. Maybe he missed his bus or something like that. And was going to walk, take the 11-hour walk. It was, it was like an hour by car or 11 hours on foot. And he thought he was going back his, to his own hotel or room or whatever. <clears throat> that he set out on foot. Search parties couldn't find him. And there's a lot. It just, the math ain't mathing. Okay. The math ain't mathing. And it, not, things aren't adding up. And there, are, there is a theory. And it's just a theory. Because Kassam said um, he, he came here alive. He left here alive. Which could be a truth, a part of the story. I kind of wonder if after they let him go and they set him out, if they didn't go back after him, toss his phone and bring him back to the cabin, and who knows what happened from there. Uh, if he was walking and he slipped and there was an accident and he fell somewhere or whatever, the helicopters or something would have found him. And it's highly unlikely that he's going to run into the thick wilderness in an area he doesn't know that it's really easy to get lost in. He's not going to leave the trail unless he feels threatened. Unless, like, he tried to run from these guys and he ran into those. But even at that, that those places were searched. So... It's, he would have been found. There's a theory that he got on a boat. They put him on a boat. And he, they sent Jay swimming with the sharks. Okay? So, but we're going to dig into this. We're going to see what's going on here. So, let's get into the reading. Okay. We'll start out with Alicia Wicker's True Crime and Conspiracy deck and its add-on. Flight risk. Oh, by the way, the authorities did not seem... They kind of like cleared these the two people in that house because they felt, oh, there's no... Uh, there's no evidence suggesting anything that they have any kind of involvement. You know, and, and a lot of people think, oh, those quasum, or however you pronounce it, was cleared way too quickly. Okay, flight risk. Two words I can't say on YouTube. From out of town, yes. I'm seeing aliens not necessarily as outer space people, but aliens to the area. So, not from the area. There is a timeline problem. I said the math ain't mathing, right? Healing. That healing could be saying, okay, we need, we have a pro Houston, we have a problem. And we have to fix it. I'm going to pull five from the bottom. 5G. The cell phone stuff. Internet activity. Important. I wonder if there's something from his records here. Natural causes. But it was in the reverse. Power. I think Jay was playing with some powerful people. Solar flare things really heated up. Um, uh, 
and there's a distraction. Some sort of distraction. Being distracted somehow. Um, and I just, I can't, I can't unsee this. Communication in the reverse. I can't unsee that. Which is making me believe that, oh, snap. You actually see this. These two under each other. Unnatural causes. But if I don't do this, if I put it this upright, because I usually don't read reversals with this deck, it's still, it's made to look like natural, made to look like natural causes. Okay. And, you know, this communication in the reverse, there's a lack of communication, no communication, but at the same time there was. The communication, the 5G there is something there, maybe in his cell phone records, or something being overlooked, I feel. And there's something on somebody's cell phones. Now, I haven't looked really at all the developments of this case. What I gave you is what I know, okay? Um, that's it. Five from the top and five from the bottom. False flag. Royalty, which is to me talking more about people in leadership position, people who who are very made almost like celebrity status. Powerful out of town. There you go. Another word that YouTube doesn't like. But the solar flare to me is almost like shedding light on something hidden and secret. I think, uh huh. There's going to be something else, some kind of riot or some kind of uproar. There's going to be something that is public, displayed in public, that is going to be used to serve as a distraction. Might even be weather related. Um, portal, that's the escape route. That's the window of opportunity. Fear. This is a never surrender. Never surrender the information. Uh-huh, but the truth comes out. I like that. The truth comes out. And, I, and I'm going to pull this one. Operation Mockingbird. Um, it is talking about govern, government-controlled media. Mock, uh, Mockingbird. You know, communication. The police are, I'm almost thinking that maybe they claimed in the media, false media, right? That they claimed to have cleared certain people when really they haven't. Um, there's some, the, the government law officials in Spain are being tight-lipped and clamping down on what is being said. They're putting out a certain narrative to the public. But, you know, people are criticizing. Why, did that, why aren't they doing anything? There's a reason. 
because there is something top secret that law enforcement's doing. Um, the truth is going to come out. And the police are really upset because this is all out of towners who's causing this. The war, there might be something with this certain holiday or holiday events. I think I did read something that Spain or or maybe it's just that area, but they were a lot of holidays, a lot of tourism right now. There is going to be some, some kind of distraction within that. As they try to find a solution. But the truth is going to be coming out in all of this. But there's a distraction that, that people may miss it. Timeline issue. The timeline's off about his disappearance. And yes, the perpetrators have already left the country. There's something here on somebody's cell phone that shows that someone in power made it look like natural causes. False flag. Makes me think a flag pointing into another direction. A peace flag when it's not really peace. This royalty is reminding me more of the ancient home. So maybe where the activity happened. This happened at that house. The house that Jay last visited, that he allegedly was supposed to walk away from and make 11 hour walk home. That particular home where the perpetrators were, that's where this happened. Something went wrong. I'm not so sure. I'm not convinced that an unaliving was intended. I feel like something got out of control. And they said, okay, he's gone. We got to come up with a solution. We got to do something about it. We got to take him somewhere, maybe make it look like weather issues. Okay. A, a window of opportunity, make it look like weather related. Something weather-related happened. Is the way that they're trying to make it look. False flag. False weather problems. That's where timeline is also coming into play. I'm, I'm jumping all around this board. Only because I'm seeing multiple things. The time of departure. Timeline issue. But it does involve people in power. Have a lot of money. They have their own private jets. I'm just saying. And they, they, they're, they're out of the country. Perpetrators are out of the country. The question is. Will England do anything about it? I don't know if they can. Comment if you know below. Those are people that are in the UK. If a UK citizen UA involving a couple UK citizens 
something happens in another country to one of UK citizens and say the perpetrator was from the UK also, the perpetrator flies back to the UK What happens? Would the UK expedite the son or whatever his name is, Assam, As Assam, or whatever, back to Spain, since that's where the crime would most likely to have occurred? Or would the UK try him on their own soil? I don't know a lot about international law. But I feel the thing that eyes are looking at them. The never surrender is really curious to me. Never After the crime, somebody here, they have no intention on surrendering. They will do this first to avoid facing any kind of judgment. This tells a lot, even without the tarot. But let's pick these up. I'm just going to put these cards aside. Um, and bring out the cards, the tarot cards. I'm using another one of Alicia's decks. Her tarot deck. Tell it like it is, tarot. I'm sorry, Alicia, if I got the name of your deck wrong. Or is it to tell a tarot or tell it like it is tarot? It's Alicia Wicker's actual tarot deck. This is one deck I always, always read reversals on. Okay. Okay, what I want to do is I need to grab my spread that I use. Uh, it's a Celtic cross spread, but uh, it's in a special format. And I create so many spreads, I can't remember them all, and all uh, off the top of my head. Hold on one second. And by the way, puppies are playing, so you might hear them. You might hear a little bit of growling. Okay. Let's get, let's do this. Okay, the crime itself, or what happened. Knight of Wands in the reverse. Um, this is a little bit of recklessness based on anger. So, somebody was angry. I would happen to say the perpetrator. Because like I said, I feel like there is D-R-U-G-S involved. And that maybe Jay allegedly may have been deciding to help distribute or whatever maybe he lost them owed a lot of money um obstacles for um, law enforcement you know they're really a strong case they're really stand they're standing up the defense and perseverance it's like the perpetrators have a very strong it's Like, uh, we're each other's alibi is what I'm hearing. We are each other's alibi. And I've heard, where did I hear that before? Idaho 4. But it's like, we're each other's alibi. We're, we're sticking to our story. And there's no evidence of anything else. It does feel like foul play. But the real perpetrators have a strong defense. I don't like this. OK. 
Okay, the past. Okay. <laughs> this is overindulgence. If I've ever seen it. In the reverse. And it is about greed. There's, I mean, greed led up to this. Um, the Rolex watch is coming to my mind. His Rolex watch, probably worth thousands of dollars that he, that Jay had on. I'm kind of wondering if somebody took it because it's valuable. But anyhow, I, that just, a little side note that just came to me. But, greed at the root. What is the motivation behind this crime? This is the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. If I, um, there's no, there's no time for evaluation. Um, laziness keeps coming up here. I'm not sure why. Um, lack of rewards. So the motivation behind it was somebody didn't live up to their end of the bargain. Most likely Jay. Like I said, it feels like something was lost. A lost crop, per se. Lost pentacle. Daisy! Daisy! Lost pentacle. Something lost in this. And so... And so they didn't get what they expected to get from Jay's participation. But... That's very interesting. And the hidden influences, you know, it has to do with greed, materialism. That's, this was actually the, not just the past, this is the hidden influences. That in, it's in the past that impacted the crime. Materialism, physical materials. This is almost backing up when I'm thinking about the D-R-U-G-S. Money. Now, what led up to this? Delay, delay, delay. Sun in the reverse, the delay. That stands out like a sore thumb. Delayed gratification. So, what led up to the actual crime had to do with delays, delays of getting the money owed. Jay delayed on getting money that he owed to the people he owed it to. He, came, he kept them waiting. And these people had very short temper, or very short, it's like lack of patience. You know, it takes patience to wait on something, wait for your goods to come in. Somebody did not have any kind of patience. Okay? It's like, I want it now or face the consequences. You took this stuff, you were supposed to make money on it and pay your debt and whatever was left was yours. You failed to do so. We want our money. That's what this is all about money that Jay owed certain people. I'm telling you. Okay. Like I said, the motivation behind the crime was we're a lack of patience. 
and he did not see anything coming in. What is the future projection of this? Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. A missed opportunity. Boom. There you go. Bad investment. Greedy envy. I see this as a missed opportunity. They had the perpetrators right there and they let them go. I don't know what they're going to be able to do about this now. Um, the per perpetrators or their, their current state right now is they feel like they avoided disaster. They left the country. We had that flight risk. They, or they got on a plane. They left. They feel like that they avoided a disaster. So that's the way they're looking at it. Um, they got away with something. They avoided capture. They avoided a disaster. Um, other people involved. Could be children. But this is about the Page of Cups. Is, a, is our young people. Um, could be happy surprise. Other people involved. Are, I'm just seeing this as young people. Um, the low level people. The fish, water. The boat. Okay. And I'll probably have to do some clarifiers on some of these. Um, investigations. The investigators. What are they hoping to find or fear of missing out on? Um, we got the Seven of Cups. Uh... The smoke and mirrors. I think already they kind of fear that they may, the investigator's energy is, we missed the opportunity. We missed the boat. Um, so now they're like looking at their options. What, what, what can we do about this now? Wow. And potential resolution, the long-term implications of this. It's not going anywhere. Um, this is blocking. No progress forward. And it's, this is making me think that because the perpetrators are no longer in Spain, that hands are tied unless they return to Spain. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to get another deck for clarifying. Okay. <clears throat> this is one of these decks that was given to me that was in my collection. I don't even know the name of it. I pulled it up. Never used it before. It's different. Okay. So what do I want clarification on? Uh, let's just um, go with this uh, Seven of Wands as the obstacle. The obstacle, clarify the obstacle for law enforcement here. What kind of block, the blocks and obstacles for law enforcement Clarify this, please. Temperance is going to take them time. Time. Balance. I, I just see a time issue. Patience. Yep. I get time. The, uh, the problem is timing. It's going to take time to find the answers. And even finding Jay. 
a missed opportunity. Ace of Cups. And the Moon. They had them right there. They had them right there. A gift. It's like, here, here's, here's your people. They missed it. And now these people are in hiding, in a way. Out of harm's right wage. Okay, tower reversed. Avoiding disaster. Yep. This is giving me the image of somebody buried. Buried where? King of Cups at sea. Okay. Buried at sea. What is his external influence? Feels like young people, external, other people involved. King of Wands under the direction of a leader. Minions. This came out in a reverse. Um, turned upside down. Is this a Seven of Cups? The Labyrinth. This feels like confusion, running in circles, in the reverse, clarity, <clears throat> somebody being in the clear, the minions, there might be somebody that actually comes forth. Now the forward projection here, uh, the lack of being blocked. I wonder if it's just a temporary block or if something will actually eventually move. Swords and strength. Okay, there is a rest period with this as they build a cake. Okay, things might be stalled, but there is going to be a break in the case, but it's going to be a while. It's going to take a while for a break in the case. Um, this was definitely a, I, I guess I'm far enough into the video I can say this. This definitely feels like a drug-related incident. Drug substances, drug trafficking. That Jay got him, allegedly, my opinion, got himself involved in. Um, he may have experimented or he may have lost the stuff. Maybe he got robbed. But the stuff got lost. He owed this money. He couldn't pay this money. And Jay lost his life over it. And I think he's dumped at sea, to be honest. I don't think they're going to find him on ground. And that's why the natural causes was coming up here. And it looks like natural causes. Um, because they sent Jay to swim with the sharks. But I think, or sink with the sharks. They were shark bait, shark food. Because I think, he because something went wrong. I think that at the house, the confrontation about it, 
I think the, the feeling I get is they wanted to rough him up and scare him. However, it went a little bit too far. And so they says, oh, okay, we got some food for the sharks. We'll make them happy today. I know that sounds crude. I'm sorry, but that's just the way my guides are putting it. Sometimes they have a sick sense of humor. But that's the way it, he, I am not convinced that Jay is ever going to be found. And I hate that there are, there are people that go missing that are never found. I think Jay is going to be one of them. And it's going to take a while. They're trying to build some kind of case, but it's going to be one of these cases that they're going to have to build without a body. Um, but I think that there's somebody in the environment that knows something right now it's being obscured, but whoever's in the environment, I think is going to squeal for whatever reason, whether the, or somebody else goes missing that is associated with Jay and with his two fake buddies. That he was last with. So we'll keep an eye on this. I don't expect to be doing a lot of videos on Jay. because Unless something develops. Or some kind of evidence comes forth. So. That's what I have on Jay right now. And. If anything else comes up, I'll do an update. Until next time, folks, I am dropping the mic.